Now, basically, quickly depends upon what kind of need is there. If suppose somebody is planned for a surgery, somebody has infection or pregnancy, we will definitely start insulin with the diet control and exercise, but may not be able to surgical patient. But that and check the sugar more frequently can help you to get down sugar. Well. Suppose a patient has come to the sugar of 350, 400, and is planned for a surgery a day after tomorrow. He got a foot infection. So there, the insulin works the best. So depending upon the situation where you are and what is the need for the quick uh, lowering, we'll go for it. Suppose they come with a sugar of, say, 250, 300, you have got no symptoms, picked up on routine investigation, routine evaluation. I would say give yourself time. Don't rush into it. And then maybe a couple of weeks, you can cut down the line with the proper medication and diet. It will definitely help. We have seen young patients coming with very, very high sugars. But the moment they start cut down the diet control, go on to cut down the carbs in the diet, they cut down the cold drinks and the fruit juices, sugar starts to fall dramatically. So basic principle remains the same. But depending on the background of the patient, we will decide how quickly the lowering should be there and what medication should be used. But overall rule, if you want a very fast recovery of the lowering of the sugar, insulin works the best.